In July 2012, the Uganda National Roads Authority awarded the contract for the construction of the Kampala and Tebe Express Highway to China Communication Construction Company at a cost of $476 million. Five months later, on November 22, 2012, President Museveni commissioned the construction of the 51 kilometers highway, which will also be called the Southern Bypass. Immediately, machines were at work clearing and grading the terrain, leveling the ground as work took shape. But key in the construction is gravel and huge rocks, and in order to get these, the Chinese company sought rocks for blasting. Among the areas which were identified to have good rocks were Bamutakude and Chiliamuli villages in Mokono district. Sooner than later, the company began on the process of blasting the rock. A deep hole is drilled into the earth's crust and then explosives inserted in the holes around the rock that is going to be blasted and then the explosives are timed out. The after effects of these explosions can only be narrated by the residents in these villages. This elderly woman has been living in Bamutakude for over 50 years. She says she has developed health complications since the blasts started. She's not the only one. Other residents narrate their ordeal. During the blasting, the only water source serving the vast majority of natives here was heavily contaminated with rock dust and rocks, making it unsuitable for use. Although these residents reported the matter to the Mukona district local government, not much was done to address their plight. Mujamu tu yambi. Ekizibu chetuli nanti, abachai na fuengafu, nganze chia manero siu wano. Tetuli na nkwa atagana na bo. Ululimi lutuko gera, tetuku atagana. Tuko zisabu, kwa zisabu, sayi nizi. The Center for Health, Human Rights and Development intervened to amplify the voices of these residents through litigation. After a thorough consultation on the matter and in-depth investigations and analysis, the Center for Human Rights and Development filed a case against the China Communication and Construction Company Mukono District Local Government and the National Environmental Management Authority for violation of the right to health, the right to a clean and healthy environment, and breach of public trust doctrine. In our constitution, the right to a clean and healthy environment under Article 39 is very explicit. Uh, it's a right that calls upon these companies to ensure that the rights of the citizens in these areas where they are carrying out these activities are actually protected. In this case, when the right to a clean and health environment is infringed upon, it is incumbent upon the local government as part of government to ensure that these citizens' livelihoods are not actually destroyed. The environment is not destroyed. We are talking about the basics of life. 
the question of water these communities are not having pumped water the government has not extended the services there but they are relying on the natural water which is existing so any action of a third party that distracts this water is a constitutional violation the chinese farm was given an intention to sue legal document to prepare for the court process Omission by Nema and Mukono local government to preserve and protect the environment is a violation of the public trust doctrine, the right to health, clean and healthy environment. We are ho hopeful as the communities that the justices will render justice to the communities affected. These residents can only bank on the court's decision to transform their lives and save them from the diverse effects of the blasts. The Center for Health, Human Rights and Development set out a number of issues that had to be addressed by the Chinese communication construction company. These include constructing a water source for the residents, warning the residents with a siren or bell before the blasts are conducted in order to alert them, and to compensate the residents whose animals were eaten by their dogs, among other things. This July, a team from the Center for Human Rights and Development visited Bamutakwita village to assess if what was agreed upon has been implemented. They met the residents who aired their feedback. <laughs> Others insist that the blasts have grown even louder than ever. <laughs> The Center for Human Rights and Development encouraged the villagers to follow up on other matters that were not yet addressed. During the visit, the team also visited the blasting site to assess the problem. 